Meanwhile, a Kano State-based medical doctor, Nasir Adam, died on Saturday of symptoms suspected to be coronavirus. The deceased was reported to have managed a patient with acute respiratory infection three weeks ago before his own death. The patient returned to the hospital again due to worsening breathlessness, and after isolation, it turned out that the patient tested positive for COVID-19. The doctors developed a runny nose and dry cough, forcing him to be admitted at the emergency section of a hospital. He died on Saturday while receiving treatment. Joining us live is Dr. Abdelai Dambata. Good afternoon, doctor, and how are you doing? Good afternoon, how are you? What's Fine. the mood of doctors now in Kano following the death of your colleague? Yeah, it's quite painful. Uh, it's quite painful when you cannot save the life of the colleague. It's more terrible when you can't save the life of the colleague. We lost one of them. Who is presenting in uh, who was formerly in federal medical health? Someone that has been very good. Thanks. Who has been so generous and kind towards every patient? Yes, the doctors in Kano have the required PPE to to attend to patients. The patient, the doctor was attended to. He also attended to a patient that have acute respiratory syndrome. And happened. you never knew because the patient doesn't Hello, have doctor, any symptom me? peculiar of COVID. Hello, doctor, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear now. Yes, I'm asking, in the light of what happened, do doctors in Kano have enough PPE, the required PPE, to attend to patients? Well, now they have. We even have some philanthropies that have donated enough, like the Boa Group, and a lot of other philanthropists have donated PPEs to Aminokano Teaching Hospital. The Kano State Government has also distributed PPEs. But uh, they can't be enough. And one of the major risks is that some of these patients, you have to attend to them even without the major PPEs because they are asymptomatic. They are not having any symptom of COVID. They present with other features, and in the course, you now realize that they actually you fall victim of uh, of COVID. But PPEs for now, I think, are virtually available, but uh, can be enough. Now, Doctor Dambata, in the in the face of this unfortunate event where a doctor had died, uh, what do you recommend? What solutions can you proffer? Uh, my recommendation would be irrespective of whether a patient is COVID or not COVID, the testing and the surveillance should be a wide range. Everybody that comes, it should be like normal full blood count and other normal routine tests. Everyone is supposed to be screened for COVID. Yeah, because the asymptomatic is, uh, is actually now becoming so rampant and many of the health personnel, including nurses and doctors and other colleagues, have been actually falling victims. So I recommend that the best is for every patient that comes into the hospital, apart from the normal temperature examination and the face masks and other distancing, the patient should be immediately made uh, tested for COVID. I think that will actually reduce the infection. I think Likewise, there should be PPEs available to everyone and everyone at every station, irrespective of first line, everyone should actually be. I think that will actually help. Yeah, and yes, the increased awareness on the preventive measures of uh, COVID. Then, likewise, even the health personnel should not take any ground for granted. They should always use the PPEs available. This, I think, will actually help the move. 